Our food is connected to many aspects of our lives. Similarly, the 17 SDGs are also connected. Actions towards one goal will affect the outcomes in others. Take fishing for instance. Fishing can impact the biodiversity of species, while also affecting the livelihood of a local fisherman. Similarly, if you don't have access to education, you will not learn about good health and nutrition. At the same time, if you're not healthy and well fed, you cannot reap the benefits of education and grow into a well-rounded person. Just as our food is connected, we are connected to our food. For example, in some cultures, a chicken foot is considered a delicacy. While some of us may not be as big as fans, food is perceived differently, and this might be one of our greatest challenges. Regardless of our personal preferences, science is often one thing we can all agree on, because it's objective, and science is telling us that our existing food system is under distress. We are facing major repercussions such as pollution, hunger, and obesity. Another thing that we can all agree on is that we are all fighting for good food. And what is good food, you might ask? Good food begins with farmers and should be nutritious. Unfortunately, good food is vulnerable to disruption, although it is needed to save lives. Good food allows economies to grow and makes progress possible. Good food is love. We are lucky to have it because good food is not always a choice. Ultimately, good food is nutritious, good for society and for the environment. All of this sounds absolutely splendid. So how do we get to good food, you ask? Good food begins with our chefs. Chefs can connect farmers to consumers. They play an important role in shaping our diet and eating habits. They are the creatives of food, bring us innovative edible ideas, and most importantly, set trends. Next in line is the private sector, who have the size and resources to make significant changes to the food supply chain. This is absolutely necessary, as supply chain emissions are now 11.4 times more than a company's direct emissions. Finally, Farmers play a very important role by adopting more sustainable farming techniques, like organic farming, as long as they are granted equal access to both resources and education. With the right skills and technologies, farmers can increase their yield by up to 50%. No need to stress, here's the part you've been waiting for. Here's what you can do. Educate yourself. Start with the future 50 foods. We can actually eat to improve the food system. Read the UN report about food towards the 2030 goals and check out our Live and Farms lessons to learn more about edible insects. Make small shifts. Try switching out a portion of meat for vegetables instead. Try replacing animal protein with plant-based protein. And if you think you are ready after all that groundwork, teach others what you have learned and share some of your recipes. And remember, you can join the UN Food System Summit taking place throughout the year. It's a people summit. Become a hashtag food hero. If you enjoyed this video, check out Miss Plays by Living Farms.